Okay, that's a, a trash fabricated hadith. Okay, everybody knew that from where uh, sperm comes. Okay. Okay, but but everybody didn't know that, which is just bad anatomy, even for the time. They say that this is a miracle because how Prophet Muhammad knew that the, the water doesn't mix, and there are places that the water doesn't mix. Okay, so they, perhaps in uh, Arabia they were drinking camel urine, so they wanted to keep this tradition. Zagor Saskan, thanks for your question, says, according to the Quran, where does sperm come from? All right, that uh, uh, it is, uh, doesn't say that it's coming from the backbones. It is about, uh, uh, you know, that children are the back, you know, it is in Arabic, they say, for example, uh, you know, I, I have your back, for example, you know, it's something that it's coming from this, the same generation, all right? So it doesn't say that it comes from backbones. It's just something misunderstanding and it misinterpretation. Says, misinterpretation, all right? Misunderstanding and misinterpretation. It doesn't say. It is uh, uh, because everybody knew that from where uh, sperm comes, okay? Okay, but but everybody didn't know that. The people right. back no, then didn't know that, that there was such a thing <clears throat> mammalian egg that hadn't been discovered until centuries but later. But they didn't know the egg. So, you know, Muhammad wrote, and by by Muhammad, I, I don't necessarily believe there was a Muhammad. Clearly, this was a group effort. But whoever <clears throat> cobbled together the Quran believed that uh, that that, oh, that men were the only provider of the vital juice that became humans, and they just had to put it in the womb. They didn't realize it was an egg there, so they called it a clot of blood, or they called it a, a, a drop of water. You know, they, they contradict themselves a few times, but then they also say. That seminal fluid comes from between the backbone and the ribs, which is just bad anatomy, even for the time. Okay, I said that what it says, and uh, <clears throat> it's up to uh, people to, you know, to interpret it themselves. And wouldn't you think <clears throat> that if God had written this book, that he could have done a better job? That, that uh, we uh, have yeah. this <clears throat> argument in yeah. the 21st century, this wouldn't still be going. <clears throat> on. He could have yes. phrased it a little bit better. Yeah, uh, Aaron, I have said it many times before as well. God could uh, send a prophet today and uh, split the moon and so on, but he decided... He didn't to need to send a prophet at all. Yeah, he could have he, just spoken to all of us at the same yes, time. Yes, there are a ton, yes, of, a ton yes. more questions. i got to move to this. This yeah, is Zach Rosas can ask as well. Why does the Quran claim that waters do not mix at estuaries? And then in parentheses put 25... 53 and 5519. I think they're referring to verses or passages. They say, because they definitely do mix, looks like God didn't know science. <laughs> All right. Um, this, uh, I haven't been uh, actually uh, pondering about such a things because for me, the most important is that how uh, Quran and Islam uh, guide me and guide humanity to live um, today and uh, to guide us to a better world, okay? So these are, um, and some people uh, take it as, uh, they take uh, videos from seas that they are not mixed to two different, uh, you know, color of water that they don't mix. So this is, uh, they say that this is a miracle because how Prophet Muhammad knew that the, the water doesn't mix and there are places that the water doesn't mix, okay? so. For me, that's uh, not a big issue that I have to, you know, reject those beautiful messages, verses of Quran that says love one another and uh, forgive people and uh, how to live, to reject all those verses just because maybe this, uh, <clears throat> you know, verse, I don't understand what exactly it says, okay? Yeah. From Very Cameron good. Hall says, drinking camel urine can spread a disease called MERS dot uh, hyphen co cov so m e r s hyphen cov. Why yeah. would the prophet recommend it if he knew that he was what he was talking about? Okay, that's a, a trash fabricated hadith. Okay, and uh, I believe that uh, there are not only I believe that all Muslims believe that there are millions of fabricated hadiths, but unfortunately, some uh, Muslims who don't think. They believe in those fabricated hadiths. These are uh, something that pagans were doing. Uh, unfortunately, in India, they drink, uh, you know, cow urine. So they, perhaps in uh, Arabia, they were drinking camel urine. So they wanted to keep this tradition. So they put this, uh, you know, fabricated hadith that say that Prophet Muhammad said, and that's uh, not the entire hadith. The, the hadith continues 
to show that Prophet Muhammad was a brutal, barbaric man, okay? Because he killed eight people in such a barbaric act for one person, despite Quran says so many verses against such an act. And that absolutely goes against Quran and any hadith. So I'm not a Quranic because people usually accuse me for being Quranic. So uh, any hadith that goes against Quranic verses is fabricated, okay? That's all. Gotcha. And this one coming in from Notion Slave says, unironically, the corrupt person interpreting Quranic verses corruptly and ignoring every single Islamic scholar is this perfect, quote-unquote, dawa guy. Okay, uh, that's a... Actually, uh, not every, it's a lie as well that every, uh, you know, scholar interpreted in that way. It's a big lie because there are scholars, especially today, there are scholars who are coming out and <clears throat> interpret it differently and go against the mainstream who have been, uh, unfortunately, a bunch of businessmen whose uh, job was selling God and the quantity was important, not the quality of the product they sell. So, and they uh, were afraid to go against the mainstream because they would lose their job, perhaps. So don't please uh, say that every, you know, scholars. No, there are scholars today that they go against such an interpretation. All right. This one coming in from Zagros. Ozcan strikes again. He says...